What's up, YouTube? A bum in a suit here. Come back with a mail day. I haven't done a mail day video in a while. Um, got a couple packages recently in the past couple days from a couple buddies of mine on here. Um, first one we'll go through was from Stacy Meek. It's actually uh, hanging out in uh, I believe Fox Bros room. Stacy Meek uh, was going to sell some mystery packs. Um, and actually, Bucks Forever. Um, actually bought me a couple mystery packs, uh, so I do appreciate that, brother. And I won a raffle too, believe it or not. Um, some of the cards I had already uh, that I got from Stacy Meek in the uh, in the mystery packs were already given away. Um, a couple of them went to a buddy of mine, uh, Beto Mejia, who collects Raiders, and then a couple other ones went to um, a Yeah Guy, who collects the Patriots. So four of those cards are gone, but here's the rest. Um, Actually, there were really, really nice mystery packs. So if uh, Stacy Meek ever does any more mystery packs, you guys, uh, these were 15 bucks. Definitely get in because it was worth it. Um, but here's so far what the cards I got. The cards I sent out had a uh, Gene Upshaw game use patch number to 50 that went out. Uh, Darren McFadden rookie refractor out of Bowman Sterling jersey card that went out. Uh, a Letterman um, number to 70 autograph Letterman of Ty Law or Ty Warren for the Patriots that went out. And uh, what else went out? I think that's it that went out for the for what I got from Stacy Meek. But then I got a uh, Trent Edwards. Move that a little bit so you can see it. Trent Edwards jersey card of UD Heroes. That one is not numbered. Got a Julius Jones, which I'm a big Notre Dame fan, so I might keep that one. Julius Jones out of uh, uh, what is that? Out of Donruss Rookies and Stars. Yeah, Lee Rookies and Stars number 23 to 250. That was out of the mystery pack. Got a Michael Strahan patch. It's actually two color with some stitching. You can barely see it. You're not going to be able to see it on camera, but if you have it, you can see it. Really, though, the number two, I didn't realize it was that low number. Number three of 15. Three of 15, two color patch with some stitching. So that's pretty sick to have in a mystery pack. Uh, Roy Williams dual jersey, number 350 out of UD. Pretty sick. Roy Williams for the Lions there. That was out of the mystery pack. Uh, Devin Hester jersey, uh, number 83 of 150 out of LCM. Pretty sick. And then the two best cards, I think, he uh, threw in a uh, Tory Holt autograph rookie card out of Edge, one of the old school autographs. It's pretty sick. Tory Holt, uh, probably one of the best name receivers um, still around, actually. I think he plays for the Jaguars now, but that's pretty sick to have in a mystery pack. And then AP rookie out uh, of Bowman Chrome. It's pretty sick. And then he had a, uh, whoever got in a, a mystery pack had a, I think they had a chance, or maybe this might have been a free raffle that he was doing while people were on mystery packs, but this is sick, this is probably one of my favorite cards, and I actually like this uh, guy, I think he has a lot of potential. Uh, it's a jersey shoe football, and the football has uh, three colors on it, it's a piece of the logo football from the Wilson, and it's autograph number 94 of 100 of Donnie Avery uh, from Leaf Certified Materials. So that's actually pretty sick too. I actually like the autograph, and you can see the black, gold, black, and, and the football in there, and then the jersey and the shoe, obviously, and then the auto. So I think Donnie Avery actually has a lot of potential to be actually really decent. Um, if they can find a quarterback that's actually decent to throw to him, um, then I think he'll be uh, outstanding. Or if he gets traded to another team, I think he'll be uh, a go-to guy. Um, also, got a uh, mail day from Foxborough 11 as well. Uh, he sent me a couple different mail days. One of the mail days, he actually just threw in some cards for me in my collection, my some Colts cards because I've gotten into a lot of group breaks lately, you guys, a lot. Um, and I've been having really some real bad luck. Haven't been getting shit. I mean, it's been going on probably, I don't know, 30 plus group breaks where I might have pulled like one or two cards um, and just shitty, shitty cards. Nothing that's, you know. But anyway, he sent me some some cards from my collection just because. And then I bought actually some packs from him where I knew I would get a hit. That way, you know, it's a win win. You know, I buy a pack and I get a hit, so. Uh, go through the one card I did get in this group break, which was a random, um, <laughs> which is nothing big. This is the kind of cards I'm getting. I've gotten like two uh, kind of crappy cards like this. This is a Jarrett Dillard autograph for the Jags, number 299. Actually, that was random because uh, Jags were out of the break. So, but mm, I got something out of that one, so I guess I can't complain. Um, then I bought a pack of two packs of Press Pass Legends um, off of him. He sells them by the pack. Um, I threw my, ba uh, not threw them, but I got two packages, <clears throat> two packages already. One of them, I put the base cards away already, but then I got another package from Fox today, so, um, just the base cards that come out of the pack when you buy them. I got like a Billy Sims, number to 250, 
Um, Richard Mendenhall, number to 299. These are just like the base cards you get out of the pack. I got a Ray Rice. This is actually a pretty cool looking card. Ray Rice, number to 150. And then I got a, a John David Booty, number to 75, which I'll probably give the ball sar because he has a huge David Booty collection going on. Even though he doesn't collect Booty, he just gets him out of breaks. Then the hits out of the pack, you get one hit per pack. Uh, this is pretty cool, number 425. It's the Onyx version of James Lofton uh, from Stanford on card autograph, which is. I mean, this is Press Pass Legends, and James Lofton is a mid-range legend, I guess you could say. Uh, he was definitely a good receiver and somebody I've heard of. So, and Then this next card I got out of the next pack is, is sick. I'm going to actually put this in my uh, uh, my PC. Um, I have PC Notre Dame cards, but really only if they're in the Notre Dame uniform, or if it's got a Notre Dame logo on it or something, and this one definitely does. It's a uh, Legends on-card autograph of Paul Horning, uh, which obviously is in his Notre Dame uniform and the Notre Dame logo uh, right there on the corner which is sick and then the on-card autograph that is number 30 of 60 so that will go in my Notre Dame PC so that is sick I actually love that card a lot even though you know you could probably get like maybe 20 bucks out of it but man dude I love it sick so that'll go in my PC um, and then I bought a pack of Bowman Sterling he has well he had packs of Bowman Sterling for sale 2009 I didn't do so good um, I got a uh, base card of whatever the hell this guy is, M Mike Mickens. Is that who the hell it is? I don't know, there's two base cards in here. Shit. Uh, this is David. B B I, you know, I'm not even going to pronounce his last name because I don't think anybody even cares who the hell he is, but he's for the Browns. That's number to 799. Then a Mike Mickens base card, number to 799. Obviously, those are both rookies. Then I got a Brady Quinn jersey, another Notre Damer. Pretty cool, number 37 of 189. Uh, this is probably the best hit out of the pack. Another jersey card, uh, number 749. Though really high numbered cards for Bowman Sterling, 749. A Sean Green jersey card. And then I got the autograph uh, out of my pack was number 299 of Brian Hoyer. I know a ball and CP collects Michigan State. I don't know if he collects. Uh, um, Michigan State players out of the uniforms. And Ballin, if you're watching this and you want that Brian Hoyer, let me know. I'm sure we can make a trade or something on that. But that's pretty much my mail day. Um, just a couple cards from Fox and some from uh, Stacy Meek. So I just thought I'd do a real quick mail day. I'll post the links up in the right hand corner of the screen. Go to give, give them a sub, you guys, if you're not already subbed to them, which I'm sure you are. But for some odd reason you're not subbed to Stacy Meek or Foxboro, um, go ahead and click their link up. Uh, take it to the page, hit the subscribe button, you're good to go. Alright, guys. Um, so that's all I got, really. Um, this is the Bummer Suit Out. Take care.